As the Copenhagen summit ended last week without any consequential climate change deal to confront the global warming challenges, Akito Rosvangui says that Kenya should learn to create its own solutions instead of depending on other nations. This is Rosvangui, a citizen journalist from Kenya, reporting on Insta blog. All said and done, we have to accept the reality that COP15 is now history with or without the much hyped up climate deal. First, I think every Kenyan is now conversant with what climate change is all about, unless someone is very ignorant. With all the publicity the climate summit achieved in the media, we can at least say that Kenya is now posted on global warming. Even though Africa was looking for an elusive blue deal, we have learned that commitment to elevate global warming is essentially based on vested economic interests of various countries who do not wish to sacrifice their growth at the altar of climate change. It's for sure that Africa was not able to deliver home a deal, but this is not reason enough for us to sit back and moan. Kenya needs to turn global challenges into opportunities. For instance, the country should come up with a plan on how to respond to climate change impacts, considering the varying patterns of rain that the country has witnessed. With this, we can be sure of curbing food insecurity. Kenya and Africa at large have no other choice but to ask for their own good and survival. Maybe Kenya needs to borrow a leaf from India on the Green Revolution of India of the 1970s where modern agriculture methods and credit made the country self-sufficient in food production. If you want your voice to be heard by millions, let InstaBlogs be your choice. You can contact us at cj at instablogs.com.